You're welcome to the BFT Digest, your daily source of the latest business news. My name is Kemini Amano. As the Chenebua, Enyira and Intome fuels prepare for first oil in the next three to six weeks, the country is also preparing to submit a response to La Côte d'Ivoire's counter-petition on the ongoing maritime boundary dispute between the two countries. Theophilus Ahuren, CEO of the Petroleum Commission, thinks that the country is on the right track and that things are going pretty well in the case in which La Côte d'Ivoire is seeking to nullify the maritime boundary, Ghana argues has been recognized by both parties for over 40 years. Managers of the Ghana Stock Exchange have called for a speedy recovery of the economy to restore much-needed investor confidence on the stock market and rally stocks. The stock market has been volatile in recent times which usually mimics a bear market, prompting the GSE to call for turnaround of the economy to be accelerated to bring back investor appetite. The chairman of the Parliamentary Select Committee on Mines and Energy, Alhaji Yamadu Sorogu, has said that there is the need for households to pay more for power than industry in order to save firms from collapse. Now, in a remark that is most likely to elicit criticism from consumers like yourself, who are already reading under the recent increment in tariffs, the lawmaker charged households to brace themselves to pay more for power, and he explains that industries need this kind of support to survive the cost of doing business in Ghana. All for this edition of the BFT Digest, grab a copy of the BFT newspaper to read details of these stories and more.